The mud puppy is a type of salamander, which is a type of amphibian. What is interesting about this unassuming animal, also called the water dog, is that it stays in its larval, or immature stage all of its long life. The hatchlings of amphibians commonly spend their larval stage in water, breathing through gills. Eventually, they shed their gills and leave the water to live on land, though most need to stay close to a body of water to reproduce. The mud puppy never sheds its gills and spends its life in water. Some scientists believe this characteristic, called neoteny, developed because somewhere in its evolution the thyroid hormones and receptors of the mud puppy and other neotenic salamanders stopped working together the way they should. This left the animal in a state of perpetual youth. Besides having a weird thyroid system, the mud puppy, unlike most salamanders, doesn't have a parathyroid gland to help regulate calcium. Scientists don't quite know the reason for this either. Mud puppies are nocturnal, though they might be active during the day if they live in murky water. Mud puppies can swim, but they usually walk along the bed of the body of water. Their skin has sense organs that help them get around. Their eyes are only good enough to distinguish light from dark. Mud puppies don't hibernate but can stay alive beneath frozen lakes. They will die if they're simply tossed on the ice, however. They have three rows of tiny, conical teeth, but they're only used to hold on to their prey. Mud puppies, which are called water dogs in the southern United States, are usually between 8 and 13 inches long, though at least one individual grew to over 17 inches long. Their bodies are gray or shades of brown and spotted, which gives them their scientific name. Darker mud puppies live in clear water, while lighter mud puppies tend to live in turbid water. The animal can have a few spots or spots that are so numerous and close together that they merge into stripes. They have pale bellies, and sometimes their bellies are spotted. This is especially true in the NM. Maculosis subspecies. The Louisiana water dog, NM. Louisianensis is paler on top and has a stripe down its back, and its belly is spotless. Hatchlings are black and striped with yellow. As with most amphibians, their skin lacks scales and is slimy. The mud puppy seems the only kind of salamander that vocalizes, though the sound is more a squeak than a bark. Mud puppy heads are flat and tails are compressed, which helps them to swim. They have fluffy red gills and four legs with four toes. The sexes are similar until they're flipped over. The cloaca of the male has two backward-facing papillae, and it swells up during the breeding season. The cloaca of the female is a slit. Both the mud puppy and the axolotl are neotenic salamanders, though they're not closely related to each other. Axolotls are found in Mexico and get their name from the Nahuatl language. They are about the same size as mud puppies, growing to between 6 and 18 inches in length. Unlike the common water dog, the axolotl is considered critically endangered because of pollution and predation by invasive fish such as tilapia. They also differ from the mud puppy in that their limbs are not well developed and their teeth are vestigial. Axolotls seem to have a wider color variation than the mud puppy. Wild axolotls are brown or tannish with golden speckles. Some are very pale pink, while others are golden, gray, or albino. Though there are populations of albino mud puppies, albinism is seen far more often in axolotls. Mud puppies and axolotls can also regenerate parts of their bodies. The hellbender is another aquatic salamander, and like the axolotl, it's not closely related to the mud puppy. Indeed, it's the only member of its genus, Cryptobranchus. Some of its range overlaps that of the mud puppy, and it's found in the central and eastern parts of the United States. It is much bigger than the mud puppy and can grow to 29 inches from head to tail and weigh 5.5 pounds.
Indeed, it's related to the Chinese and Japanese giant salamanders. It is not unheard of for a hellbender to live for 30 years. Unlike the mud puppy, the hellbender doesn't have plume like gills but gill slits. It also has five toes on each of its hind feet as opposed to four. Its lungs, unlike the lungs of the mud puppy, can allow the hellbender to breathe air for a while, but the hellbender has a more efficient way to get oxygen. It has a flat body, and its sides bear frills and folds of skin that allow the animal to take in oxygen. Hellbenders are also unlike mud puppies in that they sort of undergo metamorphosis. When their larvae hatch, they look like tadpoles, with gills and no limbs. Eventually, they lose their gills and grow limbs, but they remain in the water. Hellbenders also take longer to reach maturity than mud puppies, and their reproductive strategy is markedly different. Female mud puppies protect their eggs with no help from the male. Male hellbenders protect their eggs to a point. They are not above eating them. Hellbenders might bite if they're handled, but, like mud puppies, they are non-venomous. Their conservation status is near threatened. These salamanders live in lakes, streams, ponds, and rivers, whether they are shallow or deep. During the day, they hide under rocks or branches that have fallen into the water or among vegetation. Mud puppies have been found in water that's close to 100 feet deep. Mud puppies will eat anything that they can tackle, though their jaws are not flexible like the jaws of snakes. Their teeth are there to hold their prey until the mud puppy can gulp it down. These include crayfish, insects, insect eggs and larvae, fish and their eggs, snails, small crustaceans, spiders, worms, amphibians, and carrion. These salamanders are also prey to a variety of animals, including carnivorous fish that are stronger and larger than they are, water snakes and wading birds such as egrets and herons. Humans also collect them for research, and some fishermen thoughtlessly kill them because they believe they eat too many eggs of game fish. Though most mud puppy populations are not endangered, Threats include pollution and silting of the bodies of water they live in. Like many amphibians, their skin is sensitive, and they can be sickened by toxins dumped into their water.